Using the tiled map editor, we have both an object layer and a tile layer. We are reading in the gems on the object layer and putting it into our flame game as sprite components. At this stage, all the gems are the same, meaning that although the gems have different types on this map, we are not reading in the type right now and we're not changing the style of gem. They're all rubies at this stage. In addition, we do not have debug mode enabled and there's no collision response to the collision with the gems. The gems are a class that we created in the flame game code and it extends the sprite component. Today, we'll first enable the debug mode, then enable collision callbacks on the gem class, which again extends the sprite component, which is from the flame game system. There's different ways to enable the debug mode, the purple boxes with the numbers on it for the coordinates of the collision. I'll just add it here to the initializer, debug mode equals true. We'll test it again. And it looks like I have an extra semicolon at the end of my initializer list here. Reload it. We now have the purple bounding boxes. So this is a good indication that we will be able to run the collision callback. We'll use the override decorator to use an existing method from the flame game system on collision. That on collision is built into flame. And when we collide with the gem, the first thing that we're going to do is just print out a little message to help us. So it's just going to say hit gem when we hit the gem with Lena. Restart the game again. Lena falls with the acceleration of gravity. She starts skating and she can hit the gem. So the mushrooms are part of the ground. The mushrooms aren't a interactable object. Remove the gem with remove from parent. This remove from parent also is from the flame game system. Within the on collision, there's a other, which is going to refer to the other object that the gem is hitting with. So if the other object is Lena, at that point, we will remove the gem from the game. Boom. And it appears to be working here. Nice. There are several other actions we can take on the collision with the gem. One is to increment a score and the other is to play some type of sound. At the current time, we don't have any score system in our game. So we'll find a graphic or oh, sorry, an audio file. I'm going to use Pixabay. So you should maybe go there and prepare for the next video where we'll show you how to implement this. You just need to find a sound effect that you like and you want to play. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.